Yeah, hi. It will be a short video since I'm a little bit in the flu and my voice is really crappy. But we have some activity going on. And there might be something on the seafloor. Like a volcano or something, probably. We are at least in the fracture zone 5.2, two hours ago. And I'm not sure if they all really happened. Same quake at the same time. Or is this a glitch? I don't know, but let's have a look at Sokotra. Sokotra, I think it's Yemen. I'm not sure. But we probably figure out. I just wanted to show you a few things because that's a really, really, really interesting place. There's birds. <laughs> Waterfalls. Yeah, this might be a boat, or has been a boat, and then we have trees. They are really, really nice trees. And karst mountains. And I'm not sure if they are human made, or are these like really natural or currencies, those round shapes there. Both is possible. Check this out. Imagine how this sounds. That's amazing. This is a place I really would like to go once. Socotra. Was this the last one? Probably. No, it wasn't. I just wanted to show you some pictures from that place because it's really interesting in all perspectives, how to put it, geologically and it's just beautiful and we have these trees and there's a dude hanging from that and about these trees usually if i find somewhere earthquakes i also search for signs of dragons drakaena ginabari the Socotra dragon tree or dragon blood tree is a dragon tree native to the Socotra archipelago, part of Yemen, located in the Arabian Sea. It is named after the blood-like color of the red sap that the tree produces. The dragon blood tree has a unique and strange appearance with an upturned, densely packed crown having the shape of an upright held umbrella. This evergreen species is named after its dark red raisin, which is known as dragon's blood. So, dragon found. Mission accomplished. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>